Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Don't know where you're at in your crypto journey. Maybe you're a new investor, an old invest, an OG, original gangster, from way back in 2010 or 11. Maybe you're a year into it. Maybe you're a month into it. Maybe you're a week into it. I'll talk to you about something called sentiment in the crypto sphere. <clears throat> right now it is picking up. Obviously when you have a huge 15% spike in Bitcoin and it brings the whole market cap up by, I don't know, 30, 40 million dollars or whatever, a billion dollars. It was billion, I think. Yeah, there's going to be sentiment. No kidding. But one of the things you pay attention to is there is a significant... Um, indication of what's going on in the crypto world when you look at the Google trends for Bitcoin and right now they're up they're the highest they've been since well four months ago back in December so almost five months ago <clears throat> which is interesting it's interesting because Bitcoin was down around that $3,700 dollars mark so I'm sure people were asking, why the heck is this thing going so low? Um, and they were probably trying to figure out what was going on with the price and stuff and Googling different things for it. Um, uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what else is going on. China. They can't trade in China, okay? But they can do over-the-counter stuff. So it's basically illegal for them to trade crypto in China. But it's illegal for them to hold it. And there are a ton of mining farms there. A bunch of places that are running mining rigs. <clears throat> the ASIC mining rigs. Which is nice because China subsidizes electricity. Where they put these mining farms right near hydroelectric power. And it's cheap. Right? So they're reaping the benefits of it. And I also told you recently that Bitmain is turning on, I don't know how many thousands, on thousands of mining rigs. I think it's in the hundreds of thousands. I don't remember. But it was a ton. It was a lot. And it's interesting with this over-the-counter stuff because at a certain point, there's not going to be any more over-the-counter crypto. And when people come knocking on your door saying, Hey, I need Bitcoin. Or, Hey, I see you have 10 Bitcoin. I'll buy them off of you for a premium. 5, 6, 7%. Yeah, go ahead. I'll turn around and buy right away and have 5 or 6% more of my Bitcoin. Um, so the over-the-counter over market, from what I understand, hearing from different people that, you know, are connected to the people in the over-the-counter markets, they're hearing that there's not a lot left and they're struggling to fill a lot of these orders. So, I think we're going to be heading up in the price of Bitcoin shortly. But don't take that as trading advice, please. The other thing it tells me that we might be going up very shortly again like we just had a 15% spike, it may be like a 30% spike that we see next. And that's based off of an inverse fractal pattern that somebody picked up on and posted it on Twitter a while back. Um, if I can find it, maybe I'll link it in the uh, video description down below. But basically from June of 2018 to... I think it was like last month maybe the end of last month um, if you took the chart drew the lines and then basically flipped it upside down so it was like a mirror image and then slid it over it matched up almost perfectly I mean it was like scary how perfectly it matched up and this happens from time to time in trading uh, when people are trading assets. So if you go back and look, this recent 15% increase was when Bitcoin dropped from 6300 to 5300 
And then it did a but do 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 like sideways for a couple days, maybe a week, two weeks. And then it dropped down again. <laughs> That's when it dropped down in the three thousands. So if you take the measured drop from the fifty three hundred down to whatever, I don't know, let's just say it's roughly two thousand bucks. Add that on to where we're at now, you're talking, you know, seventy three hundred dollars. It could happen, folks. When you think about the, uh, what do I want to say, the, <clears throat> the big named traders and announcements that should be coming up soon, this, I think when this market takes off, I think it's going to take off and people aren't going to realize it, how quick it's going to go up. And I think it's going to look like irrational exuberance like it did in 2017. But I could be wrong. We could just continue to resemble the 2015 climbing out of the bear market and having a big, long uh, climb up for a year and a half before we top out again. I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of different patterns and a bunch of different, you know, what, what do you think is going to happen next in the charts or with the price? Look left. You hear that a lot with traders. Um, and they just look at it as price trading look at it as anything else um, but it's just interesting that that inverse fractal pattern tied right into somebody buying you know a hundred million dollars worth of Bitcoin so it's interesting I mean if you're in the markets now there's opportunity to make a lot of money because it's volatile and when Bitcoin stops for a little bit or drops down in price there's other coins out there that start pumping so if you find some of the typical patterns that you know coins or assets typically follow with the charts you can uh, increase your holdings fairly easily uh, but you gotta I wouldn't suggest anybody just jumps in and does this um, and I would try to study a couple indicators before you just dive in or jump into a trading room there's tons of them out there around on telegram and twitter and you'll find stuff a lot of them function through Telegram and Discord, just because it's easier. You'll find ones that are on Patreon and once you pay. I don't think you need to pay. I think you need to educate yourself. Uh, so you can make your own trades. And probably the other bigger part of that is money management. But anyway, back to the whole sentiment. I think it's picking up. Like, I'm starting to get, like, this anxious feeling, like, some coins that I want to accumulate more of. I'm not going to be able to afford them later like I'll be able to afford 10 of them instead of like 30 or 40 of them you know what I mean like that's where my mindset's starting to go and I feel like other people are starting to feel that way so we'll see I mean Bitcoin can still pull back there's a lot of people saying that the $1,700 or $1,200 Bitcoin price is still on the table and it could be could be there's always that option <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen I think, well, if we do pull back, uh, I don't think we go much below 4,000 if we do, just because there's a lot of support in that in that area. We held it there for a couple months. I just don't see this lasting that much longer. Um, I think, you know, if we do, we'll hang out. Once we get above 6,000 or so, around there, the Golden Cross, which is basically the 50 in the 200 day moving average crossing over so when those cross over that basically is the biggest indicator and that's on the th three day chart or it's a weekly chart but don't quote me it's one of those two i'm getting them mixed up right now. those two cross over um, that's a golden cross and that's you can basically guarantee you we're in a bull market and we're going up from there Maybe at that point you just hold them. <laughs> you have more money, buy it or stash it away and wait till the market corrects again. But who knows how low it's going to come down to? I don't know. I mean, you could say it'll pull back again another 85 or 90 percent, like it has in previous bear markets. But there's no guarantee in that. There's no guarantee in that. <clears throat> so. Just some things to consider. But where I really think we're in that uh, 
the sentiment of a bear market or a bull market right now or we're getting there dickhead sorry usually I like to swear on TV but uh, people don't have any road courtesy um, it's Pittsburgh what are you going to do freaking jag offs anyhow come on over come on over never mind just trying to be nice bud See, I'm nice trying to let people out where other guys are jerks. Anyway, um, yeah, look around. If I look at some of the news that's out there today, there's a lot of different things with the sentiment pointing upwards. I caught that one about Google, and then I double-checked the trends, and they are up uh, for the search for Bitcoin. Um, and then my sentiment's up on one of my favorite uh, blockchains out there right now, Cardano. I watched Ivan on Tech great 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 youtuber you should follow does a lot of cryptocurrency news um, and he's also technical so he'll explain the technical side of things so maybe it's not for everyone but some of the technical stuff he breaks down so you should be able to understand it anyway he interviewed Charles Hoskinson who's the founder of Cardano and man so I think maybe tomorrow if I get a chance to break down that video and, and cover the the highlights of what uh, Charles Hoskinson was talking about, I'll, um, I'll break it down and give you the 10 minute version because I don't know how long that interview was. So, anyway, hope you're doing well. Uh, hope you, wherever you're at in this world, on whatever day and time it is, have a great day, have a great evening, have a good night, good morning, good afternoon. Go take a siesta if you want. But anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.